Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me here. It's lovely to be with you again and it's lovely to be back in my craft room with everything around me. Um, yep, yeah, it's not necessarily all where it should be. There are still things I can't find, but yeah, every day I have 10 or 15 minutes having a bit of a tidy. So yeah, eventually, eventually everything will be, will be found. So today we're going to work on the sewing in the signatures and creating the cover for this um, giveaway Christmas journal. So um, I've st I have started, it was a two signature. Um, pop back and have a look at the other, it was a one video? Yeah, just one video I think, um, if you want to see what's in the signature before we start working on it. But I have, um, just to cut time down and make things a little bit easier, I've sewn the first one in and I'm going to sew the second one in with you. Um, I've also matted, because I needed to do it first, um, the, the front and back cover. So I've just used a piece of paper from the kit. For the front of the cover, I was able to um, use the opposite side to this page. <laughs> so it looks like, you know, the full page going across. I've just put some cotton Christmassy um, fabric in the middle, just to protect the spine a bit. And I have put a, a vellum pocket that I found in my stash well, it's a piece of vellum and it's got this lovely leaves and berry on it. Um, just because I wanted a pocket for, you know, you to store things in if you wanted to. It won't be very strong ones, you can't put a lot in it. But I wanted to see the beautiful papers behind. Um, and then in the back, yep, yeah, that's the back. Um, I've done, what have I done? That's the back of the thing and that's not the back. In the back I left a page. Oh, where is it? It's there, I thought it was stuck, oh, it's stuck at the bottom. How did you do that? That's it. So I left a page in the book, the actual page, the front one ripped, so I couldn't, you know, I had to take that one out. But I left the page in the back, so I've done the same in the back with those two pages, if that makes sense, as I have in the front. Now that one's got a bit of ink on it, but yeah, so it's got the same front and back. Um, uh, I might just leave that for a secret, a secret find, and then um, you know kind of I'm using this as the back because this is where the signatures are sewn in so again another vellum pocket with some holly this time round it hope that all made sense I felt felt like I was uh, wobbling on a little bit and it is a bit a bit strange to have that extra page at the back but yeah might be nice might be nice to have some you know um flip out or something in there for some extra but you can see there's a lot of space here because we've only got the one signature in. I have also just, I think I said I was going to, stitched a little bit of lace here and there just on one or two pages just to give the, the edge a bit a bit of something. So um, I know I haven't shown you how to do it completely but I've done it the same way I always do it. I make a template, if there's more than one signature, make a template for the middle, um, you know, decide try and mark evenly where I want um, the signatures to be and then I use this template to put holes in the book which I can probably show you yep and obviously the strings are through the front one and then I use the same template I find the middle so the middle of the book I put the middle of the template holes on the I mark the top <laughs> the middle of the template holes on the um, signature and I mark that and I punch those through which is what I've done um, I was in the middle of doing it and thought oh I'm going to be in bother because you want to see it <laughs> so I've got my string uh, my wax thread I've got a little clip on the end to stop me popping it all the way through so like I say I've got those three holes punched through with the brad now all I have to do is go through the middle one of that and then the middle one on here so you may not be be able to see it is a little bit dark and it, it is hard to show you me sewing in the signature but I know a lot of you like to see it so I'm hoping this this was a compromise so then on the outside go either the bottom or the top it doesn't matter come back through another hole and then through the hole the corresponding hole on the um, signature yeah I've been moving it about and it's been punched uh, a while now so it may be that the, the papers are slightly out of line. Let's have a look. I'm going through most of them, I think. There we go, we're through. That's it. And then through the top one in the signature. That one went straight through. Oh, got it caught up. <laughs> That's it. The 
top one in the book spine of the book. so it's kind of in place so I am the right way up aren't I yeah check it's the right way up before you start sewing it in <laughs> it's always a good idea and then I need to go back through that middle one but I want to try and avoid that string if I can so I'm going to try and hold that down a little bit with my finger and push the wrong one push the needle in sorry I know I'm probably close to you but it's shining <laughs> the gold is shining in my eyes yeah, go, go it through straight would help, wouldn't it? Am I through? Yep. Yeah. I'm through and hopefully I haven't whoops, split the, the string and gone through it. And then the same again here. You need to try and keep the string one way. So as you go through the same hole, you're not going through the string. Now I would say perhaps four or five times out of ten I do go through the string and I have to sort it out. It's not easy not to, <laughs> I don't think. Right, I'm not sure if I'm through there or not, so let's see. You can tell when you pull it because it pulls. Nope, that's it. Yay. So both ones worked well. Shh, touch wood for me today. So you can take that out then. And uh, make sure... Oops. I'm clip all this. Make sure you're nice and neat. Not neat, um, you know, not baggy. What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> What's the opposite of not baggy? Firm, I suppose. Before you tie your knot. And I'm just going to do two knots because I'm finding at the moment these... Ow, hurt my finger. These knots are becoming quite thick and cutting through the papers. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm tying them so tight or... Okay, so that's it. It's all stitched in. Now, I'm hoping that it's quite thin it feels like it's quite thin so we can get a lot of, of pieces in it now like I say this is going to be the giveaway journal and what I will do is put a packet of numbers in with it so should you wish to make it you know whoever wins it your December daily um, yeah it will be going off in the post in a week so you should just about get it unless of course it's going <laughs> it's going to America or Canada or some far-flung place <laughs> China in which case, yeah, you may not get it at the beginning of December. That's why I want to crack on with it today and tomorrow so we can um, yeah, get it in the post in time for December. All I'm doing is going through and checking all the pages are, you know, secure, hopefully not ripped. But if we have, you know, got a big hole in where we've stitched it, we can put some washi or something on. Yeah, that's quite, quite pleased with that. And it is, um, yeah thin at the moment excuse me hiccuping okay so that's one big thing done I wonder if I need to move you away a little bit there we go um and the next thing is the cover so oh where's that gone here it is so if you remember I wanted to use this beautiful robin from a, a Christmas card or use a Christmas card and I was talking about putting lace and things on it I've had a little place so I've come up with a few bits um that I want to put on it um just because it I don't know if I'm just I'm just not in the Christmas vibe yet. I mean, I'm feeling Christmassy, but I'm not in the Christmas building. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, I've not got my. Well, it's not about being in the mood. I'm definitely in the mood for it. I just haven't got my eye in. I think if that makes sense to you, you know, about what I want Christmassy wise. So I'm thinking that pink over there. I don't want it too far around the back, more around the front than the back. Um, I'm happy for the gold and the red to show through on the on this uh, cover and then I came up with um, out of my box this I think I, you saw it the other day when I discovered it um, snippet that I made last year it's on Christmassy paper and it's got shiny blingy things on it and um, there's another piece like this I'm presuming that was cut off there somewhere yeah it looks like it was that's going to be nice on a tag that's got a a charm stitched on it as well so Christmas snowflake um, yeah so I quite liked that there I had a happy Christmas somewhere I had it when I started so what have I done with it <laughs> uh, I've lost it once and found it and now it's gone again would you believe it 
Oh, it's on the floor. Yes, you'd believe it. <laughs> yep, so I was thinking about that across there. And then I made this um, just little, it's not, it's not a snippet, what is it, a cluster, cluster up, because I just fancied something, I don't know, on there, what do you think? Yeah, I think it does want something just there. And all I'm going to do is glue all that on. Oh, maybe something, I wondered about some of this down here as well, just to cover the edge of that, maybe down there. Right, what do I want to start with? The lace. Let's put this lace on first and that will have the added bonus of um, hiding the signature strings. So I do want it to go round the back but only just if you know what I mean. So I want it to come right out there. So I'm using Fabri-Tac. It just goes in a little bit at the bottom if I remember rightly. The thing about Fabri-Tac as well as, you know, being good, manoeuvrable, takes a while to dry and, you know, um, gluing fabric, obviously, it doesn't dry instantly. So you can cover a big amount of it <laughs> like I am doing now without, you know, the bit that I first put down drying, drying on you like a art glitter wood. Okay. That should be enough for lace. So, I hope you're all well, folks. I'm, uh, I'm doing good. I'm happy to be back in my room. I've had my day off and, you know, did quite a few DIY jobs around the house. Um, it was Neil's days off too, so, so I, I've not got much. I've not got an awful lot done in my room. I've definitely got very little crafting done. Bit of fussy cutting, um, and that's about it. What you've seen me do here on this. That is all that I've achieved while I've had my day off. So, yeah, still plenty to do craft-wise, but I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to force myself like that. Just taking each day as it comes and doing a bit, so. Oops, grabbing hold of my jumper. I've got a glitzy jumper on. I have broken out my uh, Christmassy, wintry jumpers. Um, yeah, much to Neil's dismay when we go out because he's like, you've got a Christmas jumper on. You know, not a real, <laughs> not Santa with his feet sticking out the chimney, that kind of thing, but, you know, glitzy and glittery and shiny. And <laughs> I'm like, well, it's winter time and, you know, how often do you get to wear your Christmassy glittery? You've only got until the new year and then they're kind of away, aren't they? So, yeah, let you know. let me know if you're with me on wearing your Christmassy stuff while you can. <laughs> Oops. I th oh, I think it said Jingle Bell, the one I was out with with Neil. It's not that. <laughs> it was not it horrified, but he shakes his head at me like crazy woman. <laughs> yeah, I think I do want that red down there. Or shall I have it down here? So we've got this red in here as well could have a bit down both couldn't I let me just cut a few bits off and oh, oops see how we go see what we look like so facing inwards so it'll either frame it in a nice way or it'll frame it in a silly way yeah which I don't want could be too much I quite like the way that red goes onto the you know the pink there it's kind of because it's a pink um, journal. It's a, it's a pink digital, that's what I was trying to say. But I've brought some reds into it to bring out the red vibe of Christmas. I do quite like that there. But this does now look lost without anything on it, doesn't it? Just on one side. So let's see if it's too much on both sides. Can anything be too much at Christmas? If it was for me, I wouldn't hesitate. It's just it's going to somebody else. And I quite like that bit of red there as well. What do we think? Yeah, I'm going to put it all on. So what's the first thing? I think I probably want those two down first. 
Yeah, my fabric tack is very slow. It's not an old one, this either. I know there's not a lot left in it, but it's fairly new. I have obviously been using it a lot. It's often my go-to glue, to be honest. I don't know if there's a right way up for that, but... Lovely. So, that way. Can you see the glitter on that card? I hope you can. Really looking forward to breaking some glitter out on some of my uh, some of my makes now. Just waiting for it to dry is the issue. I definitely want to make some uh, snippets like this, some snippets, clusters, whatever you want to call them. This one next, I think, then. In various colours. So I've got another pink Christmas um, kit to make. I want to make, I think I've already told you, I want to make a couple of December dailies if I've got time. I'll see. I don't think they will be on camera, though. Um, just to pop in the Etsy. And... Uh, Yeah, one of them might be a giveaway again. I said I was going to do a, you know, an unannounced secretive one. I haven't forgotten. <laughs> um, and then I've got a blue one I want to do. I've got, I'm going to do uh, Nanine's Christmas Botanical one again that I did last year. So yeah, and I've not got that long, have I? So I need to get on. And I did say I was going to have a couple of days a week minimum not Christmas so so I think I might be doing a bit of crafting off camera I don't know <laughs> we'll see um, what I do need to do is get in front for the decorators coming which won't be that long they're going to be here for three full days and uh, Simba is going in the middle day <laughs> to the vets for his op so yeah I do really need to get in front with some of these now I should be able to now my room's all booked on. Oh, should I have had that at an angle? Yeah, I think we'll have some jingle bells on the bottom of here. Yeah, I like that. Don't know if I'll put anything on there or not. Maybe just a something. We'll see. Okay, so I'm pretty pretty pleased at how much we got done there. Um Obviously, I need to leave that now to dry before we can work on it. So, um, shall we work on some of the ephemera? Let's, let's bring it in, see what we can do. So, we've got tickets. I printed them smaller and large. They're, they're nearly cut out. I just don't cut the corners. These little pretties, tickets. This, if you remember, was a sheet from Tanya's Buy Me a Coffee, I think. I just thought they, they went nice, the green, with this pink kit. This pink kit is from Nanine at Collage Type. Right, so I've got, yeah, tags um, that are printed full size and half size, and I've just printed them on paper, so whoopsie. Ouch. These need to go onto some, some backing. Oh, did I just cut a hole in that? Look at that. It's because I've got glue on my fingers. I'll have to stop, I think. I've nearly done with 30 minutes. I'll have to stop and wash my hands. Thank goodness it's been stuck down on something. Um, so they're nice little decorative pieces. I think that will make a nice journal card, so I'll back that. Now these were really big tags. Oh, I don't need to do that until I've, um, like these, I mean massive. Uh, but I think they're bookmarks actually. Um, so I've printed them half size, so they're gonna make nice tags. So they want backing. That's not from Nanine's kit, but it goes nice, doesn't it? Let's just put that with all the other ephemera. There we go. Oh yeah, these are the tags at the normal size. So they all went back in. Um, yeah, journal cards. Yeah, I have printed everything twice, as you can see, journal cards. Um, not everything, but a lot of them twice. And I've got two signatures, so I'll use a lot of them. And the ones that I don't use, 
we'll go into my Christmas stash as always. So these are pockets. Um, this is the one that was printed at half size. But again, this, they're only on paper and I think I would like them a little bit stronger. I'm not sure what thickness of paper this is. Might only be 100. Doesn't feel like uh, doesn't feel like 120, which is what I usually could be, but it just doesn't feel it. Yeah, so I've got two of those normal size ones. Obviously, I'll have one in each signature. I've only got one of the half size ones. Might use it, might not, or it might go on another piece of ephemera. But uh, I'm going to back those as well. Yeah, journal cards. Um, not that, not that. I'm wondering if I could make a, a tag badge. I'm sorry to say, chopping her legs off. Because <laughs> they're nice, nice big tags, aren't they? Yeah, let's do that. Sorry. Sorry, little girly. <laughs> so I'll back them. And, we, you know, we'll decorate them up and make them our own. We won't um, we'll keep that big one, that big bookmark one. So I could do this one by just taking the eve off because it says Christmas Eve. And just make that Christmas. Yeah. And then we've got all the other uh, ephemera that we made the other day and the bits that I pulled out from last, last year. So some of those will go. Yeah, so that's all those. I'm just going to save these for embellishing and clusters and page decorating. All the tickets and what have you. You know, and embellishing some of these. Um, the same with the rulers. But then I've got all these words, which I think I am going to also back onto some coloured papers. Um, let's move all this to one side then. Um, yeah, I'll have to have a think about what, what coloured paper. Right, so these all want backing. Those, most of them for writing on, so yeah, all these, all those want backing onto writing paper, these don't. Um, I haven't decided what we're doing with that yet, so we'll put that over there. And let's get some paper out for these. Okay, so I found some papers. I've got a pink spotty one, um, a snowflakey, I think that's come from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah, and a pink, um, not chintzy, damask kind of uh, colour. And I've just I've just stuck some on one because you don't want to see me sticking all of these down. And I'm going to put it under my bit of mat that I've just <laughs> just put on my table for now. Not got my mat sorted yet. Um, so yeah, I'll stick some of these on these two, and then we'll we'll make some pretties with words. So for the words, I've brought some doilies. I might stick some of them onto some of these foil coloured doilies. I've also got a, um, yeah, what's that? Tea stained one. Um, I've also brought some green ribbon to stick some of the words on, some of the pink. I don't have to put a lot on pink because I've only got two journals and um, yeah, I've got a lot of words. So I'll put some on others as well. A bit of the red fabric maybe. I've got a couple of bows there maybe for the tags. So, um, and I've got a few more. Christmas words just that I was cutting out yesterday just sitting here from another kit so I might might get some of those on. we'll see we'll see how time goes um yeah there's not a lot I can do until I get these backed really and um and cut out and then we can decorate them so I think tomorrow yeah tomorrow we'll we'll decorate the ephemera and start putting it in um yeah we might have to have a Saturday video as well just so that I can get it done and the draw the draw done although I could draw it couldn't I without without it being finished <laughs> just do a flip through have to see how time goes um, I definitely want to do scraps on Sunday whether I do them on Saturday or not I don't know um, it might be that I've got enough Christmassy scraps left <laughs> to do a masterboard maybe with some Christmas bits we'll see I, I am aware that I said I want Christmas every day so maybe not we'll maybe wait for that till we get into December because <laughs> it is still November at the minute not for too long but yeah still November 
November is our last payday before Christmas. We don't, we used to. Um, up until last year, we used to get Christmas payday early, so they would pay on Christmas Eve or the day before. Now it's the last day of the of the month, like it is all year. So yeah, November is our Christmas payday now. <laughs> so we will be. I don't know, maybe shopping for our presents. I'll get all the others before that. But me and Neil will be having our our gifts on uh, November payday. Oh, just thinking about that's made me <laughs> tired. Don't know. We keep we keep saying we're not going to do gifts until mine and his until the January sales because we want some biggish things. And it is so, it's a bit annoying when you see everything reduced after Christmas, isn't it? And also, you know, money's got to go a bit further this year, hasn't it? Because the bills, you know, we've we've noticed with food bills, but nothing else much yet. But uh, yeah, I think the, the going to, this is the one I tore up. The bills are going to get pretty, pretty high, especially as the colder weather's hit. I'm noticing I'm having my heating on quite a lot now, so. So yeah, we don't want to be wasting money only to find we could have waited and got it cheaper. So, oh, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll just, as always, do it. We'll, we'll decide and go do it. <laughs> or we won't. What do I do with me as paper? Is that it? Yeah. I don't remember putting it over there. Yeah, so I didn't get that many on my paper, did I? Oh, I don't know. Some of them are doubles, though. Let's have some tags. I've done one of those. It's the tags I want to get decorated, so... I mean, the others I'll do when I stop filming and um, when I've done my household chores and I'm back. No, I can't get anything else on there. I'll have to be those few. I'm back free again. But I'm definitely aware that I don't want to be poorly for the Christmas period. Um, we're having everybody on Christmas Day. It's only one day. <laughs> And uh, yeah, everybody helps. It won't be crazy, but I don't want to be poorly. I want to enjoy the festivities. So, oopsie. Yeah, so I'm not. I'm trying not to do anything at all that will make me poorly over the Christmas period. So that includes, you know, sitting at my desk too long or all of those things. It's a shame, but it's still uh, it's still an issue. For me at the moment sitting too long i don't know why i'm hoping it's going to not going to be a lifelong thing but um i'm hoping as i get fitter and healthier you know in other ways that that will have a knock-on effect on my well i'm presuming it's arthritis but you know we're not certain it's either my arthritis or my blood so <laughs> Yeah, I'm hoping the, the healthier and the fitter I get. I'm still recovering from the, the knee up. I mean, it went so well and I recovered so quickly compared to the last one that I often forget that I've not, you know, I've not had my year yet and you, you're still healing and changing definitely for the first year. So I have to keep reminding myself of that. You know, after after I've had that a year, that might make a difference. Now I'm, I'm coming up there. It was the 2nd of the 2nd, 22. So yeah, 2nd of February, my year will be up. I don't suppose it's like, right, that's your year, you're instantly better. But <laughs> up until then, they say you still, you know, if I went to the doctors with anything, they'd be like, well, it's not been a year yet. You need to let everything settle. Just because it wasn't just my knee, if, you, if you're new to my channel. Um, because I'm on warfarin, it was, uh, and I um, had to stop my warfarin and then they have to give you something else, which is really, and I had to have massive doses, massive doses of it after the operation. It made me feel really, really knocked me for six, made me feel really ill. So, you know, that's, I'm still recovering from that blood work wise. So, yeah, I have to be, kind to myself but yeah 
I want to be well for Christmas. We've had so many rubbishy Christmases with COVID and prior to that me being poorly that I just want to be well this Christmas. I know everybody does. <laughs> I'm wishing it for you as well, guys. I don't know what got me onto that, but okay, so they're all they're all doing the thing under here. <laughs> Drying straight, hopefully. Right, it's a bit lively this green ribbon I remember from last year when I bought it. Once you undo it, it won't stay. I'm not sure just what. I don't know if I want pink on it or let's just try a few on and see what I think. Yeah, if I have the bigger ones on, there's not too much of it. I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to hide it, but it is, it can be quite in your face. It's very bright. I like, quite like that one on there. So I'll do three or four on this green. I've filled my art glitter up, so yeah, I'll probably be covered in glue. I did just wash my hands when I stopped. <laughs> oh, I didn't start my timer again. I'm not very good at that these days. Um, yeah, quite liked the pink on it. What's that? Peace on Earth. I'm not keen on that colour on it. Might all be pink on here, I believe. Might put one of those other ones on. Some of this green. I'll leave that a bit longer. Yeah, because I can cut it down to size or I'll leave a bit to stick another image or something on at the end um, when I use them. You know, they might become part of a, a cluster or something. So I will leave, you know, a big piece on. Uh, so I might want to put a piece of holly or something on there. Or if I just want to use the word itself, I can trim it down when I'm ready. Apart from anything else, they're a lot easier to grab hold of, aren't they, when they're like that? Um, Now this I usually just put behind something, but I'll put a couple on it, just so they're ready made. We've got enough there. Um, oops, a little bit left, I might get a tiny one on it. I don't need a lot because it's still going to be sticky isn't it? Maybe I should have fabric tacked that. Go on stick. Hmm. I need something behind it. I don't necessarily want to put something behind it though. Oh that's it sticking now. I just needed to let it go off a bit. Yep. Um, let's do a little tiny one then I said didn't I? I've got anything smaller than that. Christmas Eve. That's okay though. So let's just put a bit on and give it a minute or two to dry. To grab. Oops. Come on. Grab. That's it. Okay, now let's try. Should we try some silver doily? It's quite pretty, that rose, actually. Um, what does that say? Merry Christmas. Mm. Yeah, I like this one. It's the, the Christmas is darker. The word is the font stronger and again that might become a nice just tear a bit off there it might become part of a cluster or it could just go on yep as an embellishment that way yep that way okay and um that one's quite a dark one isn't it i'm doing two of everything Two different backgrounds. Uh, what we're going on a piece of this? 
yeah, a piece of this. Can't see the rose that way, yeah. Um, I'm thinking some lace would be nice. Let's grab some. I've got some down here. Uh, what's that? It's real pale pink, I think. And some white. It's sort of an off-white. In fact, I think this one's sewn on one of the pages. Just wondering if a piece of this under it would be nice. Let's just there's a piece there that needs straightening up, so let's do that and then that. Where have you gone? There. That then that. Let's get some fabric tack on it. I think if I just put a good blob on here, it should go through both laces in theory. What I'm hoping, or both fabrics, I should say. <laughs> and this one is just, it grabs everything, it's lively. That's it, let's go, let's go like that. Yeah, like that. Needs to dry a bit. <laughs> It'd be okay on there though. Ooh. Okay, this one. Believe. Yep. Oh, alive. Gosh, it's very dark today. Don't know. Uh, it's going to lighten up. It's, it's breezy. I've got a couple of towels drying on the on the line, but uh, yeah, I think they might have to go in the tumble dry it. <laughs> Just giving them a bit of fresh air. Right, I'm going to put all those in there with those other ones um, for now because I think that's enough of those. And where's the other embellishments? Where did I put you? Good question. I bet they're looking straight at me. Yes, they were, <laughs> but I've got them out now. Yes, I'm thinking um, I might make a couple of um, decorations with these. So I've got this green netting. I don't know. I think this might have come from Caroline. I might might have that wrong. Caroline at um, Dream was Caroline. You maybe can't even see it, it's so fine. Um, and then I've got some really thick, strong, I don't know. I think this came from my sister. And I think this is, uh, feels like it might be for um, flower arranging and things like that, because it's really stiff. I can't imagine anybody would, would want to wear that. Okay, so we've got these two bits of lace still. Got some bits of this. So let's use some of these and just make some lovely, um, clustery decoration, oh my goodness, sorry, uh, things, um, embellishments that we can put either on the tags or on the, um, ephemera we're making or the pages, right, so that'd be quite a nice base for that, it's quite strong, I want some colour behind it. Shall I just build? I don't know. I'm wondering if to staple that. I think I will because it is, um, it's so lively, that net. And then I can put something over the staple. So like I say, that, uh, that ticket is not from this kit. It's just from my stash. It's a digital, obviously, from somebody. Um, could be Victoria Designs. They've had a few um, 
sample Christmas pieces from her. You know, uh, they send you freebies. It's quite pinkish, isn't it? So it's got nice on some pink ephemera. Which way do I want to go that way? Because I'm going to have this Santa ticket on top, which will, oh, hide my staple, I was going to say, but oh, I need it. Right, how do I get these out? Aha. Don't close. Right way, yeah. Okay, third time, third time lucky. Just have him across there. Where's my double gone? Hmm. How did you end up in there? Yeah, I think what I might do um, is put some. What should we put you on with? Some of this. Put some glittery bits on them. Uh, glitter glue and uh, stickles and things like that. That's what I was thinking. It's just the more of these you get ready, the easier life is. Sorry, I'm knocking you again. See if I can. don't know if this will or not, but let's just try it. Hold that top down a bit. Yeah, the easier decorating can be. Okay, let's do something with this then. Let's have a let's have a little one of those somewhere. A little one of these. Yes, there it is. Is that the right way? Have one of those on there. Looks nice, isn't it? And let's go for a word across the bottom. I've got one that says angel. I've had because that is an angel. Blessings, holiday, mistletoe, gift. <laughs> Naughty. So much joy, maybe. Oh, some of these little ones look. Let's have a look then. Christmas. Yeah, let's have Christmas. Okay, so what we're we going to have behind it? Shall we have some gold? What do we think to this? Let's. No, definitely not gold. Let's have some more of this then. Darken the edge. I think I want some. Um, let's double gun again. I think I want some Christmas papers. I have some more pinks on here. Yeah, I've got some of this. Do you remember this is my own dyed? Oh, it's quite a paper as well. Yeah, maybe a piece of this would be nicer. Just get a couple of small pieces going to use. Oop, that's quite a rip. <laughs> Big one with it. Let's do it. We're going to fabric tack everything, I think so. bling on this. Have that across there and then some of this lovely pink. Down the side maybe. Let's, let's have a good long run of it and see what we think. If we're going to put bling on, let's put bling on. Yeah, let's. I think uh, uh, glitter will probably do that. Oh, that was a bit cheeky. Maybe you 
grabbed. It is really wild that, uh, what is it, that netting? It's really strong. Okay, let's have another piece on here then. Um, have Santa on it. Some lovely music paper behind him. would we like? A bit of white lace. Cheers. What have we got here? Blessing. Yeah, that needs backing onto a bit of something. What shall we back it onto? What have we got to here? Have some... Mm, yes. So these are like washi tape, Christmassy washi tapes. Um, I'm thinking something bright so let's go with that red one. Again these are not with the kit, these are from my stash. Another freebie sample. I'll put it on and then cut round it I think. It will be easier than dealing with tiddly little pieces of paper. I only want a bit of a backing on it. I don't want, don't want it huge. That's it. Just makes it pop. Yeah. And uh, we'll fabric tack it again. Okay, so I think we're probably nearly done. I've got a few bits and pieces to play with now. Um, tomorrow when we filling and embellishing everything. Yep, so I've got some words, I've got three clusters, I've got all these bits um, here ready to go. What did we have under here? Yeah, all these. So what we'll do tomorrow is these will be properly dry. Oops. We'll uh, embellish these first I think. Then we'll put all the pockets that we've made so far in the signatures. Like I say, I'm not going to overfill it because even people who don't journal often write in the December, <laughs> the December books or the Christmas Eve journals because, you know, they're so good for lists and um, planning, not to mention, you know, actually recording your your memories and what you've done and you know who visited you or things like that so yeah we're not we're not going to overfill this one definitely not please remind me that I said that because <laughs> I'll want to but yeah I'm definitely not going to um, and of course if I make it a chunky monkey it will cost a lot of money to post which I would like to avoid as well yeah the only other thing is we are postmen are on strike here in the UK at the moment so I was hoping that's not going to last for too long so yeah we'll have to get this finished and drawn in two days so that uh, when Neil's off work in three days hopefully it can go in the post if I've heard from whoever's won it. So remember all you've got to do is uh, uh, comment on any of the videos and I'll take the names from all the comments and put them into the draw so if you don't if you don't want to be in it either say please don't enter me or when I draw it and it, your name's pulled out let me know pretty quickly if you if you wouldn't like it because I need to redraw and get it off to somebody okay so I'll leave you now I hope you have a lovely afternoon um, I hope you've enjoyed what bit we've we've done on it today um, and seeing it and uh, yeah I wish you all luck for winning it remember there's going to be another secret draw very soon so keep your eye out for that as well because I'm not just like with this one, I'm not um, advertising it as a as a giveaway, so that uh, you know, so people who you know come to me naturally rather than because they want to win something. 
and um, yeah hopefully the people who who enjoy watching will be the ones that are rewarded you know you know what i'm saying okay so i'll leave it here and i will see you again tomorrow for a longer video okay um yeah here it is looking lovely okay bye for now <laughs>